Hello everyone and welcome to Lectual Education Podcast, the podcast where I strive to share my knowledge, insights, tips with you guys so that together we can grow mentally, spiritually, and do the damn thing, be as successful as we can. Speaking from my mind, body, and soul to yours, my name is Lex, I am your podcast host, and this is season two, episode one, Consistency. Hello and welcome back. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is season two. As you can tell, I'm trying something new. I am on camera, right? How cool. Um, you may not be able to tell if you're still listening to the audio version of this podcast, but you know what? Catch up, Buttercup. We're live. Well, somewhat, somewhat live, right? So yeah, um, we're starting something new this year. So let's see how it works. Let's see if you guys like this more or less than just the voice. Okay, uh, jumping into the episode, consistency. Consistency is the word of the year. To touch on last year a little bit, you know, I'm really big on setting these goals and seeing how much I can push myself every year. Last year, one of my goals was to read 60 books. And you know what? I'm pretty sure I did it. I might have exceeded uh, 60. I was keeping track of the books in this app and <sighs> like two months before, not even, it was like a month before the year ended, I lost access to the app. I lost like being able to get in, but I've read so many books in the last year and I'm, some of them I, I'm going to reread them. I read about... I read, I'm pretty sure I read these 60 books. I lost track at around 45 books. If you see me looking down, I have notes. Um, but yeah, I've learned so, so much and I do want to read some of them again. I do want to start a book club uh, this year. I started to get things together last year for it. And so, you know, read with me. Join these book clubs. I love books. I love to talk about books. I love to read. I love to gain this knowledge. You know, that's just what I like to do. So let's chat it up. Let's have a book club, you know. Also, um, in the past year, in the last like, I don't know, six months or so, I've not even, I'm lying. I'm lying. It's been like two, three months. I've been, <laughs> I've been staying up to current events. Typically, I don't really watch the news. Um, if something happens, I let people tell me something's going on. Okay, but recently I've been listening to NPR. I guess you can say I'm grown now, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I think it's cute because sometimes I have conversations with my dad and he'd be like, oh, did you, did you hear about this? And I'm like, actually, yeah. Actually, yeah, I did hear about that. Um, let's talk about it. So I feel in the know. I don't feel like I've been living under a rock, even though I love, love, love just staying in my own world, you know, but there is outside world and you kind of got to know what's going on occasionally. So yeah, uh, NPR is cool. They have little short morning segments that I listen to on Spotify. So I don't have to listen to too much because I really don't like listening to news too much um but a cute 10 15 minutes of what's going on great stuff um also learning about finance super important if they don't teach this stuff in schools do some research we'll talk about this more in future episodes but uh yeah i mean i think it's so important to start knowing how to finance your life 
how to manage your budgets, know your money, grow your money, you know what I'm saying, do the things. Uh, yeah, I started reading Psychology of Money, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, tons of YouTube videos about investing, um, compound interest, I, I mean, you guys may have heard of that in math back in high school, compound um, interest or like science classes, whatever. So yeah, compound interest I think is pretty cool. It's pretty important. Um, you don't hear about it too much. I think I heard about it in math um, or like probably probably math and like science. You know, you do all these equations. Um, and so basically compound interest is supposed to be this wonder of the world quoted by Albert Einstein. Like whatever. But basically it's how when you invest your money can multiply and compound over time um time times money so yeah good stuff look into it um i'll probably talk more about this later in the season um or you know in upcoming episodes yeah another thing i guess uh i started picking up at the end of the year was talking to people um and taking risks i would say this is probably about half the year through um I was taking more Ubers and Lyfts and I'm always, always chatting it up with the Lyft drivers, um, just like, you know, asking them what they do. Sometimes they drive full time, sometimes they have like whole other things going on. Sometimes they're retired and you know, I just chat it up. You never know what other people um, have to say and so just talk to everyone to be honest. We're all out here, all living and we all have things to share and knowledge to give to other people so you know you never know until you ask uh, and so with that I've just been being more spontaneous and trying to get out of the house more um, last year and I guess for the last 22 years of my life it's really been about putting myself first and um, learning to do that and that's something to keep in mind throughout your whole life I think you should always keep it like keep you in mind put you up there um, I know people will be like God me you know then my kid or my husband or you know I don't know you but you're important like you are so important in your life because if you're not doing the damn thing then who is who is at the end of the day we only have ourselves so you know I put myself on a pedestal now um, and I really value myself and like see my self-worth and so I have been putting myself first but you know what people keep saying people certain people will be, tell you that you're selfish and you know what to a degree yeah I kind of am and like honestly okay okay like I'm selfish okay I understand that am I mad at it not really however I do see how not being selfish in some circumstances will be beneficial so I'm going to take this criticism constructive criticism I'm gonna make it constructive and try to be more considerate of other people's perspectives you know and I think that's the biggest thing like I'm not mad at me being selfish I honestly think I'm selfish sure but I'm also very selfless and it's I've had to get to this point where I've been able to be more selfish so I'm not going to backtrack and like I'm not gonna do that however I see what you're saying and making improvements going further that's all I can do right no more excuses I don't I don't like excuses um, I'd be like cut the crap like just it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't and until it is what it is it's not gonna be that so you know um yeah uh, so yeah relationships are important relationships are important for you to help work on communication um, relationships are important because some things that you learn through other people you wouldn't be able to learn 
through yourself and like I mean I said that with Lyft drivers but I'm talking about like friends family um, like literally anyone you can learn so much about yourself by dealing with talking to other people you know so that's super um, important and you know you it's so important to nurture your close friendships because if you do value these people then you want them to value you and you know just we, we love each other around here I love 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 my friends like I have great friends and I'm not going to continue nurturing relationships and friendships that aren't great we're great I am the the people that I hang around the most so you better be great because I'm gonna be great and it, that's that's just what that is so yeah um and if you don't have many friends YouTube is a friend there are so many like wealthy rich people on YouTube talking it up sharing knowledge like go listen to it go go read a book they books are friends too Napoleon Hill my dog Robert Greene that's my homie you know what I'm saying like I pop pop I actually I don't know I don't know I haven't looked too much into these people lives they might be racist I don't know so don't don't take don't look too much into that but the knowledge that they have is is timeless at this point um and so go read a book go watch YouTube go watch a productive YouTube um I will I will maybe try to give you guys some more insights on um, who I listen to or um, some some something like that later um, but let's jump into the podcast let's jump into consistency okay so yeah um, one of the biggest lessons that I learned in the past year was the power of consistency in a world of entropy and constant change being able to be consistent in your life and your routine honestly it builds so much strength it just it's like you have to work every day to do the things that are important to you so that those things grow right like if it if you wanted a garden you would have to water your plants so it grows and you'd have to do that consistency so consistently so you had food so be consistent that simple so um, consistency to me looks like deciding to do something or not do something um, and showing up for myself by doing or not doing those things as often as I can uh, so for example I took up running I love running um, now and you know some people they would consider running like hard to be consistent at but you know when you when you find something that you do like to do and it's right for you and your body then it's not going to be hard to be consistent with it you know especially if it feels good um we're not perfect so i can understand consistency can be challenging um and showing up regularly um, requires a level of self-discipline however self-discipline is a muscle too so as long as you're just trying every day or as often as you can the muscle will grow like over time you will get better and you will be able to be more consistent with the things that matter to you just off the strength that they matter right because you can say like oh I don't know going to the gym matters or you know like it matters so much but you don't do it like okay going to the gym once won't give you a six-pack and eating one piece of candy won't make you unhealthy but consistently doing those things you know if they make a difference just like one drop of water doesn't change anything but one drop of water over like hundreds of millions and thousands of years or whatever will erode a mountain and make things into like the Grand Canyon you know what I'm saying so there's so much power in consistently putting your energy into specified places and I talked about this before because 
when you're working towards a goal if you have not a set goal or if you have not clear focus it's so easy to have everything diffused you want your energy aligned and shooting towards your goal right right so yeah I started running I love running honestly it allows me to get out explore test my body push myself go further and further every day um see different parts of the neighborhood and different businesses one time <laughs> and I, I don't know I mean this is probably not even legal to be honest um, but I think it is because I was just walking around and walking into businesses and I was just like what's around here and I walked into this like Pilates place and a, a rock climbing place and a film spot uh, and some yoga spots just like all these random places around just to see what was going on in my neighborhood and I I just it just gets me outside and I just love the feeling I feel like a I don't know like a wild horse or something running around just free and happy it just is cool um so yeah uh, find something that works find things that you really want and make it fun and just really really love what you do and show up for yourself as much as you can in that way and it's just that simple uh so yeah with consistency uh and goals someone asked me about the 12 week year and i don't know if you guys have listened to that episode um of me talking about the 12 week year and, and setting up goals but honestly they wanted my opinion on its usefulness and i had to tell them i wasn't very consistent with it but but that's because I did not use the document as I was going to use it and that's because my goals weren't up to par if I'm being honest with you guys my goals for 2022 were not goals they were dreams they were you know they were in the air in a way that it it didn't make sense on how I would grasp them right they were objectives right objectives somewhat uh, somewhat like make it make sense how are you going to be a million dollar become a millionaire and not have a million dollar plan right you can be like in 2022 I'm gonna be a millionaire how you gonna do that how what how what like like yeah okay sure you want to be a millionaire in 2022 in 2022 you said you wanted to be a millionaire good for you but if you don't have an outline a mission plan a goal like a, a set smart goal on how you're going to get there it probably won't happen I'm not gonna hold you I mean that's just the truth um, so yeah, that you have to be realistic with your goals. Um, and with that, you have to try to, I have, someone put me on to smart goals, which is basically, um, making real goals by making <laughs> real goals, right? Um, and smart goals is, it stands for specific, measurable achievable relevant and timely um, you can look up smart goals on the internet I'm sure it will help you to go really deep in there but if you needed help setting some real goals take the whatever you had whatever you want and put it and make it into a smart goal it makes it just so much more achievable so much more realistic because not only do you like have the idea of what you want you know exactly what you want you know what you're gonna do to get it you know when you want to try to aim by to get it 
and you know how you're gonna know when you have it basically and um to do that and put that into the 12 week year planner on notion will probably help you get to your goals a lot better than just a dream put into notion so basically <laughs> after you make your goals consistency through life following your goals is going to require you to make certain decisions certain choices and look at things from the bigger picture when we make choices you want to think about all the outcomes think about as many outcomes as you can as to what's gonna happen if you make this decision because for every action there is a reaction and so for every cause there's gonna be one or multiple effects right so think about the path you want to take and when you get to these crossroads when you have to make a big decision think about what you want down the line and if it's gonna make sense for you to choose that path basically it sounds easier than done because yes we may sometimes know what we want and may sometimes know what we need and those might not be the same things so follow your heart <laughs> that's all i can say um i just i just shoot for win-win situations in all aspects so like don't cheat yourself don't cheat yourself don't cheat other people go for win-win or nothing and i actually think that's a concept i learned in the seven habits of highly effective people just to strive for win-win all the time in every situation with everyone and it's just gonna make your relationships a lot better another thing um, just a tip to help you to reach these goals is don't be too hard on yourself like I said self-discipline is a muscle so you want to work your way up to being able to flex that I want my little brothers to be able to listen to this. I don't think they care if I curse. Um, they're about 13 is the youngest one. So flex that hoe. Flex that muscle, right? Um, <laughs> so with, with being consistent um, and also trying to not do too much all the time so that you're burnt out so fast, um, there is something called the Pareto Principle. Um, and you can learn more about that in the 8020 book, 8020 principle book. Uh, and basically, this 8020 principle is that 20% of the effort you put in to things is equivalent to 80% of the work. So if you have a list of 10 things, basically, and this is to make it like super simple, if you have a list of 10 things, two of these things are super important and are like the biggest things that you can do. Whereas the other eight are just like whatever. But most people are going to do these eight instead of these two because these two are like stressful or just high focus needed. Just things that people don't want to do but these are the important things to do. And so it's important to do the important things so that you can maximize your efforts and your results basically. Find what you're good at, do these things, and outsource what you can't or what you don't want to do it's somewhat simple especially if you can outsource but if you can't just try to focus on the things that are the most important to you um, don't strive for perfection just strive to be consistent and keep showing up and I mean it's just that simple I that's and, it, and it's just that simple like don't you don't have to be perfect 80 20 you don't have to be perfect diet 80 20 like eat 80% good and then 20% bad who you don't have to be 100% all the time right and that's just that's just on balance because before you may have thought balance is 50 50 but no balance is it's not just black and white nothing is black and white really balance is what is your mix for you we're all a spectrum of everything and so what works for you is your balance uh, balance doesn't even make sense when you look at it overall because when like and I, I don't know I don't know if this is logical 
or not logical but this is just kind of how i think of how balance doesn't really logically make sense because you think you know like you see your pound of feathers and you see your pound of stone and you know like yeah this is they weigh the same sure but a pa there's so many more feathers than there are stones and is that really balance yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know so yeah, I don't know. So balance what you make it, and A20 is pretty darn good. I really, I'm really loving A20. I'm putting it in everything. I'm putting it in my diet. I'm putting it in my workouts. Like I, I'm gonna work out five out of seven days. You know what I'm saying? Like, just A20 everything, and that's, that's the goal. Try it out. Uh, so yeah, to wrap it up, I really. I'm glad that you guys are tuning in to this um, new season. I hope you guys uh, like seeing my face. Um, let me know what you think. I'm also going to put this on YouTube. So, hey, on YouTube. Uh, moving forward, I would say, and this, I, I, I'm taking this into consideration moving forward also. Think about... The obstacles that you may need that you may endure while on this journey and think about how you're going to kick them like how are you going to get over these things before they even show up so then you're ready stay ready you don't have to get ready right so don't forget to look at them look for them if your eyes are closed and you're ignoring them and you act like you don't want to see them you are probably gonna fall you're gonna hit it like it doesn't right so look for where you can mess up and make sure that you don't mess up and that's something that millionaires talk about like look for where you can mess up if you want a relationship to go good look for how you can mess it up and then do the opposite right try it um i'm gonna give you the affirmation are you ready repeat after me I am working on disciplines every day that are making me better and better. Okay. And the song of the week. Ooh. Hard choice. I have been I have been going with Cortex really steady for the past couple months. So I'm gonna drop you guys a Cortex song. This is Qui October 1971. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll leave a link to my instrumental playlist that has plenty of Cortex and other sexy, cool instrumentals in there. So give it a listen. And thank you for checking out today's podcast episode. Have a beautiful day.